Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to alter the note beams that you are working with in MuseScore. We will cover how to separate beams as well as rejoin the beams. And then uh, lastly, we will cover how to do cross stave beaming. Let's get started. So you wanna have MuseScore open. And uh, I have put in a couple notes here with um, different beams so you could see how we can manipulate those. So the let's say you wanted to separate the beams that you have in MuseScore. So by default, uh, when I put in the beginning eighth notes at the beginning of the piece, uh, they joined the beams together, uh, with, by, again, by default. So let's say I wanna separate those. Uh, what I'll do is I'll select the note uh, again. So make sure that the note selector is off. So again, I just want to select that note and I click it. It turns blue. Once it turns blue, I go over to uh, this uh, on the palettes, uh, the beam properties. And you'll see right now that it has uh, the this uh, beam middle selected. So if you look over here, there's um, uh, an icon for no beam. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now you'll see that it separated that note from the uh, remaining notes. Now let's say I wanted to continue that. I would select the next note and I would, same thing, I would click on no beam. And then again, you can see how it uh, separated the beam from um, the other notes. So now let's say I uh, wanted to rejoin those or join the notes together again, uh, the beams. Then uh, what I'll do is again, select the note you want to beam. So I'll select the first note and then I'll uh, select the beam middle. So uh, there it was, or you could select beam. Um, actually, no, it is beam middle. Okay, so you select that. And then the next note, uh, you see, you'll see I still need to, to uh, join those. Again, I will have to do the same thing again. So beam middle, and now it uh, put all of the notes back together in one beam. Okay, so um, that's pretty straightforward, how to separate the beams as well as then rejoin the beams. Uh, the, I wanted to uh, show you cross stave beaming um, and then um, uh, as a bonus, uh, we will cover uh, how to feather the beams. So in the third measure here, I uh, started with a couple eighth notes uh, so I can show you how to do the cross stave beaming. So uh, again, you'll input the notes that you have. They'll put the beams uh, the way uh, you see it. And uh, by default, they'll join the beam there. Now you'll see, let's say I wanted to, I'm gonna add a couple more notes here just so uh, we can kind of see how this works. So just a couple more. Okay, so we have a couple more notes selected. Now I'm gonna go back to this, uh, let's say the first note I wanna have on the bass clef. And cross stave beaming is where you want the beam to um, look correct whenever you're going between um, the bass clef and the uh, treble clef. So what you'll see is, let's say the first note I wanna have in the bass clef, which it is, now the second, group of notes, um, I want to put in the treble clef. Now you'll see if I just uh, select this and drag it, it, it will stay in the bass clef. So even though I did that, it just stays in the bass clef. So in order to change that, what I wanna do is I wanna select that note, and then I'm gonna hold Control, Shift, and then the up arrow, okay? So it's three um, uh, buttons that you have to push um, all at once. So the way I do it is again, um, I'll do control Z to undo. So again, I hold control, I hold shift, and then I push the up arrow. And then you can see now it put the notes in the uh, treble clef. So now when I take this note and drag it around, I can um, make that connect, uh, again, do the cross stave, across the staves with the beam, okay? So let's say I want the, the next uh, note there to be um, on the bass clef. And then the same thing with the uh, last couple. What I do again is if I want that to go in the treble clef, I do control, shift, and then up. And then you would just take that note and then drag the note where you would like it. And then you can also, now that it's across the stave, uh, you can also add other notes in that grouping if you would want. Um, so... Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you can grow. Yeah, you can you can add notes, but it's going to add them in the uh, bass clef. Oh, there you go. Good. Okay, yeah. So you're you're in the bass clef there. So again, so it takes a little uh, getting used to. Um, but again, you you might have to drag around more notes than uh, rather than um, putting the note exactly where you want it the first time. Okay. So now you know how to do uh, those three things with the beam properties. Uh, as a bonus, uh, I wanted to show you how to feather the beam. 
And uh, this is just um, a, a nice uh, compositional technique um, that you see in you know some contemporary music. And uh, you might want to you know uh, put this in your music every once in a while. Now, um, feathered beaming is found under the beam properties. Uh, you just click on more, and then you'll see uh, we've got feathered beam and then the, uh, another kind of feather beam. So the way this works is it, um, feather beam has to be with um, 16th notes or um, higher so, or faster. So again, if I put the feather beam on the uh, eighth notes, nothing happens, right? So uh, what I need to do is take the feather beam and put it on the second measure where I have these 16th notes. And you can see I put the beam on the end of that grouping and it feathered it uh, to, the, to the left there, to the right. And then let's say I want to feather it the other direction. Uh, then let's say I've grabbed this one. I want to feather it the other way. I want to go to the first note in the grouping and then let go there. So again, it's drag and drop. Um, and then you, you to, in order to get the beam effect, uh, you want it to, uh, you just drag and then the beam turns blue. And, um, and then you'll know that you're on the right spot. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments section below this video. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore uh, 3 tutorials that you uh, may be interested in. I'll put links around this video. I thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.